What's going on, everybody? Super Rhino 57 here with another episode of Sky Factory. Um, I have not started my platform yet, but uh, before I get into everything, I want to show y'all some of the automation I've been doing off camera. So, as you can see, my uh, auto sieve is gone. I do not know why I still have this up here. I should go ahead and get rid of it because I've moved everything down here. Look at this. So, to explain a little bit, got my cobblestone generator got my auto sieve going in going into my inner chest but it does not stop there so as you may know already when you sieve gravel you get broken pieces of ore like there broken iron and then this one turns it into sand and sand is getting sieved which gives you crushed for crushed ore then this one turns the sand into dust and this one sieves dust and gives you uh, powdered and some other stuff so once I get all of that collected we go over here. These are some crafters. Um, I believe I showed how to make them in uh, Sky Factory 2, but just in case, just a machine frame, simple enough, and then crafting tables and redstone torch, and then you just take the tier 1, put it back in the middle, you get tier 2, and so on. So, I got all the broken pieces going in here, getting auto turned into the gravel versions. From there, so you got gravel, you got the sand, you got the dust, and uh, some other stuff. Um, essences, I've got yellow rye essence going in here, and my gold essence going in here. And then they are getting pumped over to the auto hammers. And from there, it gets broken up from broken from the gravel into the crushed version, which gets turned over here into the sand. It goes back over here, it gets turned into powdered. It goes back over here, it gets turned into the dust. And from here, I was thinking about using the smell tree because you get double your ores. But then I realized you can also use your sag mills. So I've got some sag mills set up here, which is taking all the dusts. Here's one. Uh, I didn't catch any time but it uh, turns the dust into pulverized versions there's the lorium uh, all this is done by the way with the import bus from uh, applied energistics wow the name slipped my mind so everything is being imported through the export buses see I've got some I got some room for growth here but uh, go down here see how, all the sands and then it's getting pulled out through the item conduit back into the inner chest and then back out. It just makes it look cleaner. So anyways, once it gets turned into pulverized, the pulverized version comes over here into the Zavisio furnace. And I know I've never covered the Zavisio's uh, furnaces yet. Uh, Ziv, there we go. So the Zavisio furnace is a really powerful, really fast furnace and very fuel efficient. And the only easy way to make it, you just furnace, surround it with the Accio essence, it gives you an Accio furnace. From there, you surround that with Crucio. You get Crucio Essence. From Crucio to Imperio, and then Imperio to Zvisio, and bada bing bada boom. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, there's an Ultimate, which is even better with Zvisio Blocks. But I knew this would suffice, so I just left it at Zvisio. And uh, I left this running all night long with a stack of blocks of coal, and it's only halfway through. So that's how awesome it is. So I am getting everything from that auto sieve, or from the auto ham, yeah, from my automatic sieve turned into ingots automatically. Bada bing, bada boom. Look, got 4,000 iron, got a bunch of copper, tin, gold, and my, ye my yellow right is not in here because I am, again, automatically pumping it out of my system into this diamond chest. Look at all that. From there, it gets automatically put into my reactor to keep everything powered and going. So there's all the automation I've done off-screen. Now, to begin this episode, um, to get further into Thomcraft, I do need to visit another mod real quick. And that is Witchery. Now, the reason we need Witchery is because we need a witch's oven. As you can see it right here, it's simple recipe, iron bars, iron. And I've already got everything. So there's a witch's oven. Easy enough. Now, uh, I, just, I guess I'm just going to put it right here. The witch's oven it looks a lot like a furnace. 
but it's a little bit different. Hold on one moment. So what I need to do, let's see, here, recipes, there we go. I need, the reason I need the oven is I need mutandus. And to get mutandus, you need, oh, which is called, there we go, exhale of the horned one. To get exhale of the horned one, I need oak saplings and some clay jars to make clay jars, soft clay, there we go. Just simple, there we go. Makes four. I'll go ahead and make all eight of these. And then oak. I knew I had a bunch of oak saplings. And should still have, yes, plenty of coal. So let's go ahead and run over here. Soft clay. Do do. Run back over here. Like clay jars. So we'll put the coal here and there. So now it's just it's basically gonna cook it. It's gonna give me some wood ash. And exhale of the horned one. Right off the bat, that is lucky. Uh, I'm just gonna let that keep going. Yeah, that's easy. Also, you need mandrake, which I do not have any for. You can see some grass blocks for it. But I believe also, let's see here, oh, oh, I just looked. You can also get some bone meal. And we'll just travel way on over here to our grass patch and just break some grass. Vein mine. Let's see, anything? No nope, onion. Water artichoke, that's a good one. I'm gonna need that eventually. And snowbell, awesome. So I've got two. I don't need them at the moment, but I do know they are part of the witchery mod, so we'll visit that later. Come on. flowers up <sighs> and still no mandrake what was that there we go mandrake root now mandrake is going to be a little bit uh, odd and what I mean by that is because let's see do I have any mat there we go. I'll just take this one. Yeah, we'll just throw these in here. Don't need any of them right now. Just ward out choke. Don't need those. There we go. Let's see, I get any more? Oh, I did. Go ahead and stop that. Okay. So, mandrake root is a bit of a dangerous plant. I know that sounds weird. But the reason being, when you plant it, when you harvest it, it has a chance, yep, there we go, to spawn a mandrake. And he's just gonna keep, there we go. He's just gonna keep circling you, giving you nausea. But once you kill him, you get seeds and mandrake root. So just rinse, repeat, get as much. Oh, look, I got lucky. Nothing that, no, uh. Okay, so yeah. There we go. That should be plenty. I've got four mandrake roots. Mm. So, what else did I need for mutandus? Mutandus. An egg, mandrake root, got all that. And I need the witch's cauldron. Okay, that's easy enough. Ah, take a sip of my soda. So we just need a basic cauldron first. Um, actually, I believe. Uh oh. Uh, I believe the witch's mod has their own. Let's pop. 
Really? So I sworn they had their own wand. So I guess we'll just give this a shot. See how this. Did I put my. Where did I put my wand? Did I put my wand up? Oh, wait a minute. I think I put it over here. Yeah. So. We'll just plant the cauldron down there. Oh! Oh, it's. Oh, that's Thumbcraft Crucible. Crud. Okay, be right back. Okay, so it turns out in order to get the uh, witch's cauldron, you have to make a paste. To make the paste, you need these four seeds. You got water artichoke, mandrake seeds, snowbell, and belladonna, which you get just by uh, bone meal and grass and breaking the tall grass. And you get these seeds. There you go. So now. I will make the paste, and you also need a just a regular cauldron. So we'll just get a cauldron here. I don't know if I'm gonna have time to get everything done in order to get the sapling, but we'll plant that down. Ooh, nice little effects. And there we have our witch's cauldron. So we'll just get some water. I think yeah, it takes three buckets. And I believe, yeah, oof. I, I don't know if fire spread is on or not. I hope not. Uh, let's take all this out just to be safe. Let's see here. Do I have any netherrack? I have. I do. Awesome. So that, and flint, I know I had a flint and steel. Good, 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 good. Oops, let's just go slabs. Okay, I think, yeah, it's gonna have to be one more, one more down. that and look the bacon animation it's gonna start boiling that and now to get the mutandus I need an egg exhale the horned one and mandrake root so did I put the exhale in here yes exhale the horned one mandrake root There was something else. Or was that it? Yeah, and it gives me six. So, throw. Oh. Get my magnet out and turn it off. There we go. Then go in. Does it have to be. And I'm taking fire damage. Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, and there's the magical effects. And she'll give me six mutandus. Just give it a second. There we go. Okay, now the way mutandus works, so you took all the water out of there. I'm just gonna put that fire out. The way mutandus works, come over here, and you see we got a flower here. Well, if you use me a tandis on it, that was lucky. I needed the jungle sapling. It transforms it into a different uh, sapling or plant of any kind. And I actually needed the jungle sapling, so it gave it to me first try. So that is awesome. We'll have to start farming those get a bunch of the saplings. Now, next thing we are going to need for... The, oh, actually... Let's see here. Where did it go? Double charge you. 
alchemy. That's what I need. The Essentia Distillation. So arcane stone blocks and a furnace. Oh wait, what was that? And the crucible. Oh, well, I already got the crucible. So arcane furnace and crucible. There we go. And I believe Yep, okay. I knew it was going to cost essential the alchemical furnace. And what this does, I'm actually going to put this up here on my new little thumbcraft platform. And what this is going to do is I'm going to put something in here and it's going to transform it into a sentient. Ooh, I need some essential jars. Uh-oh. Water jar. Okay, so just glass panes and wood slab. That's easy enough. So, that'll give me two jars. And I got some wood slabs here. This will be at least enough to get started. There we go. So now, let's see here. Which. There we go. Aspects. Yeah, I'll just use some air. Sh oh, yeah, I've got plenty of shards. That'll be nice and easy. I think I need coal too. So let me get out some coal. I'm gonna need, yeah, essential tubes, gold, iron, glass, and a quicksilver drop. That's easy enough. Ooh. And gold nuggets. And as you can see, I've already got the goggles revealing, but I'm not using them because it, they without with them I cannot fly. So gold, quicksilver drop. Glass. Just grab a bunch. And iron. And I'll get rid of these. I don't need those at the moment. I believe I'm done with that. Okay. Anyways. So, if I put coal in there, and in this case I'm putting air shards, see so it's going to start draining it and turning it into a sentia. So now I need to make my essential tubes. There we go. Oh and it makes eight. So I'll just I'll just do sixteen for now. gonna start no does it come out of the back I think it comes out of the back no it does not okay what am I doing wrong here just the alchemical furnace in a lean back uh oh Ah, that's what I need. Oh, I need silverwood. Oh. Well. That's wonderful. So how do I get silverwood then? And where is it? No, not gold, Mansky. There we go. Disasters. Silverwood from the sky. So I need great wood. So I need great wood to get silver wood, but I need silver wood to get to great wood. How does this make sense? I wonder. If 
I just place the jar? Maybe? No. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, I found it. I don't need the silver wood because there is this in the uh, X asterisk is this filter from the sky, which lets you use silk mesh and gold to create the silk the uh, this filter that I needed. That otherwise I would need the silver wood. So let's see. String. Do I have enough for one, two? Eight, yes, awesome, and gold. So now, goes like this. Yes, there we go. So I made one to me. Okay, but now I have the vis filter. So now I can make. Arcane and Olympic. So iron, one piece of gold, and bucket. I have a bucket. Oh, I have everything. So filter, gold, bucket. Oh, I don't have enough water. Nope. In that case. We'll just go over here to our handy dandy mob farm. Oh, let me turn that down. There we go. And by killing them, my wand will collect the Essentia. Or I believe. Or did I? I think I already used it. Never mind. There we go. So, boom. And I have the jar and my pipe. So now, it should start. Okay. Way over complicating this, I know. And jar. There we go. Okay, now it's collecting. Which means I can put the coal and the air back in there. And that is how you get Essentia. So I'm going to gather all the Essentia I need for this. And then I will set everything else up in the next episode. So I hope you guys learned something. I know I did, apparently. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, hit that like button down below. Leave me a question or any comments if you have any. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.